<laughs> well, it sucks to be them right now. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and the game is not officially over, but it's over. Um, fourth quarter about to start. The six, uh, the Celtics are beating the Sixers, Sixers, eighty-eight to sixty-two. That game over. So, um, I'm gonna talk about this seventy-six and Celtics game six, and also it's official. We get the rematch: Heat versus Celtics, second straight year, third year out of four years in the Eastern Conference Finals. Um, before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, I'm gonna have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, so feel free to DM me. Whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come holler at your boy. Also, if you're a Madden player on Xbox One, I'll have my Xbox One gamer tag in the description box also. <laughs> wow. Uh, first off, man, Celtics Sixers, man. Uh, what a sorry excuse of a performance by the Philadelphia 76ers. Before I get into Boston, let me talk about the Sixers, man. That, that's a pathetic performance. Um, I honestly believe, look, Joel Embiid is a special talent, but you're not going to win anything if he's your number one option. Um, Joel going to need somebody like a damn little or somebody like that um, who's more of a scoring threat um, that he could kind of follow, follow, you know, like a Shaq Kobe or a Shaq D-Wade. <clears throat> he need a dominant perimeter guy you, for you to win with him. He's not going. And James Harden, man, he driving to the hole just to pass the ball to people in the corner. Um, you know, the only one over there that's really playing with any guts is Tyrese Maxey, man. Um, he looks like a really nice young player, but James Harden is, is just, you ain't going to win with him at this point. And Joel, he can't be the main option. Like, he needs serious help because – he don't have the heart, honestly, to lead you to anything. Like, he mopes around too much. And honestly, he at times he look. I know he has the knee issue, and I, I'll cut him a little slack with that. But at times he looks like he's just not in great shape. Uh, don't even get me started on Doc Rivers, man. Doc Rivers is by far the most overrated coach in NBA history. Dude is not a good coach, man. He won with Boston when Boston came with the big three. Me or you, any of y'all could have won a championship with Boston that year. Doc constantly gets out coach, man. Um, but since we got that out of the way, Boston a tough out, man. Um, I said it. I told people. Uh, I said that after, even after games uh, five, I'm like, I still got Celtics and seven, man. Because it's just, I, I just know that this team has resilience. I know this team, they shot the ball bad in game five. And this team could light it up from deep. And they got two players who can absolutely take over a game, as you see it today. Jason Tatum got, what, 42 points after three quarters or something like that, after struggling all series. Um, Al Horford, old as he is, he gives you a lot of the defensive man. You can't leave him completely open. Um, you got to give their coach Missoula a lot of credit, man. He changed his lineup, went to a big lineup with Robert Williams out there, and, and it took over the series for them. Um, Marcus Smart with his, his toughness and tenacity. Uh, they, they are well-rounded team, man. The one thing with Boston that I think the Heat do got an advantage is coaching. Though Missoula's doing a good job, Spo is, 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 is an OG when it comes to this coaching and the playoff thing. Um, and for the Heat, man, uh, season series, Heat won two out of the three games. He, Heat actually beat them twice, to, uh, two to one. Um, first game they played in, uh, two of the games were in Boston, one in Miami, the two, first one in Boston, Tatum had like 49 points, Jimmy didn't play in that game, Boston won by 13, uh, then they played like two nights later in Boston, um, Jimmy did his thing, Jimmy had like 25, he won in overtime, um, in Boston, and then the third, the last game, Jimmy didn't play that one neither, and Jalen Brown didn't play, and the Heat won by like three, against Boston. So it's really hard to kind of judge this off of the regular season matchups. Um, both teams look a little different than last year. Well, Boston looks the same. They just got a different coach pretty much. With us, we got Kevin Love out there, you know, um, as opposed to P.J. Tucker, which we lose that perimeter defense we had with P.J. Tucker. Um, but we get some outside, more outside consistent shooting and better rebounding with a Kevin Love out there. 
Um, we are missing Tyler Hero, which we but we kind of was missing him last year too because remember he got injured in this series and he never really he missed some games and he came back game seven, but he did absolutely nothing because he wasn't healthy. Uh, so besides that, we pretty the biggest difference is Kevin Love instead of PJ Tucker, um, and they got Missoula instead of Udoka. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be tough. Boston is good. You know they could shoot the ball. They could defend. They're athletic. Um, it's gonna they got home court. Obviously, it's gonna be tough, man. But uh, the run that this Miami Heat team is on right now, uh, Jimmy Butler leading us, and you got guys like Lowry and Love. Um, the fact that they beat, we we lost to them last year in heartbreaking fashion, and um, for Miss Jimmy three to go to the finals. Um, we got a shot at them again to go to the finals, man. I am I am so psyched and so pumped. I'm ready for this series, man. I think we actually got a shot, believe it or not, in this series, man. I can't wait to get started Wednesday night. Plus, we get a couple of nights off, days off to get ready before we go to Boston and we start playing every other night. Um, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have Miami Heat, NBA, and content of my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Let's go Heat.